Hello guys, I'm back with another video. This is the Cinema X build, just been updated. And um, I know I've been gone for a while, but I'm back with my, my Cody builds. And uh, I apologize to you guys if I can't respond to your, um, your comments and stuff like that. I've been, you know, up and about lately. So um, let me jump into it. Like I said, this is the Cinema X build, and I've up I've updated it. Here we have our search, our hub, movies, TV shows, kids, TV, sports, music, your add-ons, your settings, and we're back on search. All right, let's go into search. All right, now with this, you can also search. Let me show you ABC. Now, not all channels will work. I'm gonna search for a channel, but not all channels will work. I'm gonna scroll down to channels live add on, but so far, the only add on that will work good with this is the um the UK Turks click on done all right you give it a moment for it to pop up now there it is and you also have project cipher but project cipher is not really fully functional yet so let's go into UK Turk I'm going to just click on link 1. If link 1 doesn't work, you Agent go to Cooper link 2. So getting back into Agent Cooper's yeah. psyche. Yeah. All right. I had to stop it real quick. Now let me back out. You can also search for movies. I'm going to just search for Batman. And uh, I'm looking for a movie, so I'm going to select the first one, the TMDB. And here you have all the Batman movies. Let's go for Batman vs. Superman. You could click on that or whatever Batman movie you was looking for. And you have a list of add-ons that pop up for you to choose which add-on you want to play the movie from. All right, and if you feel like waiting, as you can see on the top, it says play using. It's on 89%. You can wait for it to search up to 100%. All right, so here's your list of add-ons you could use. You have bubbles. You have Bob, box sets, bubbles, covenant, Elysium. Flix Next, Poseidon, Salts RD Light, Showbox, Specto, Stream Hub. And you could explore it um, also in Ice Films. UK Turks. But UK Turks usually gives me 3D movies. Alright. Let me choose um, Stream Hub. Alright, so you could choose any one of these to play it from. I try the first link. Alright, let's stop that. Alright, so once this screen pops up again, you just click on done. Then you're back on the whole menu screen. 
All right, so the search function is working, and it's um searching for the um, anything that you want to look for. It's in the metallic add-on. All right, here we have our hub. In the sub menu, you have your movies. This is from your movie library. Your movie sets. That's if you have, you know, part one or part two of a movie, and your TV shows. All right, and um. For the widget, when you press up, you have your movie genres and your TV show genres. All right, let's click on movie genres. And um, let's say you're into comedy, you could just click on comedy. And it takes you to the extended info mod. And then you have all the movies here that's related to comedy. We'll click on this one. As you can see, you have a few add-ons on here which you could use. You could either add um, this movie also to your library if you wish. If you want to add both parts, this one's not out yet, Volume 3. So if you want to add Volume 1 and 2, you can add them from here also. Alright, and if you want to play the movie, you could just click on Play. And you could choose your add-on you want to play the movie from. Alright. You can also switch over to TV shows by sliding to the left and then clicking once and you switch to TV shows. And you can also add your movies from here to your library also. Alright, that's the same thing with the TV show genres. It takes you to the um, whatever genre you're into. Action and adventure, animation, comedy. So you have a a few in here of which um, genre that interests you. Alright. Here we have our movie section. Clicking on movies. It takes you to the Covenant add-on in the movies category. Alright. When you press up, you have the most popular movies. In the sub menu, let me start from the beginning. All right, in the sub menu, you have sets. This is also if you have movies in your library as a set. Let me show you. I just added this just for the video. We have um John Wick and John Wick Part Two. This Part One. And it's part two. All right, and you could also add movies and TV shows from the Covenant add-on. All right, here you have your files if you want to navigate to um, whatever. If you have movies on your um, on your device, we have Osmosis uh, movies, Movie Dude. Flick Sanity, Box, Box Set Kings, Poseidon, 1080p, Bubbles, Deliverance, Exodus, Flix Net, Reborn, Goodfellas, Maverick, Quantum, Showbox, Skynet, Specto, Salts, Black Hat, Pyramid, Wolfpack, White Devil, Falcon, Etaflix, Real Movies, Stream Hub, Movies Arena, and Supremacy. Alright, in the TV shows, when you click on TV shows, It takes you to the Covenant TV shows category. And when you press up, it's most popular TV shows. And in the sub menu, start from the beginning, you have your files, Osmosis, Flixanity, 
Poseidon, Bubbles, Deliverance, Exodus, Flixnex, Reborn, Goodfellas, Maverick, Quantum, Showbox, Spectral, Salts, Wolfpack, and Supremacy. Here we have our kids section, pressing up. Here you have the Falcon Disney movies. And clicking on kids itself. Give it a couple of seconds to load up. I just installed it. All right, it takes you to um, Bobby's Cartoons. In the sub menu, you have Binky TV, Bob's Kids, Jacob, Gummy Bear, Peppa Pigs, Wild Brains, Tykes, Disney, and Disney 2. All right, next we have our TV section. When you press up, you have your TV channels. I like this ad. I like this ad on a lot. It's been working for months. You know, it haven't been going down or anything. It's my go-to add-on to if I want to watch TV. All right, let me get out of here. Clicking on TV itself, you have your options here of your channels, news, shows, movies, sports, and music. Now the shows and the movies, those are 24-7 um, movies and 24-7 TV shows. Alright, let's say you want to play comedy. You shot my girlfriend in the neck. So that's 24-7 comedy movies. All right, it's the same thing with the TV shows, like 24-7 um, TV shows. All right. And you also have live music videos. All right, in the sub-menu, you have Matrix, Supremacy, TV One. Goodfellas, FTFA, Stream Army, Made in Canada, Live TV, Quantum, and Project Cypher. Alright, like I said, this TV one, it's been golden to me. Like, it never went down for me. It's constantly working. And been like that for months. You know, but um, as far as like live TV add-ons, you know, they come and go. Alright. So here we have our sports section. When you press up, you have your sports channels. You have a good list of sports channels on here. All right, in the sub-menu, you have TV One Sports, Matrix, Live Premiership, Live Sports, Quantum, UK Turk, and Sports Devil. Here we have our music section, pressing up. You have Top 40 Charts, Web Top 100 Music Videos. Clicking on music itself, it takes you to the Beats by Stream Army. In the sub menu, you have your add ons for if you have music add ons. If you want to add some more, you can just click on add ons and your music add ons will be in there. Your files to navigate if you have files on your device, music files on your device. We have Beats, Top 40, Karma, U Music, and Vivo Music. Alright, here's your add ons. In the sub menu, you have your video add ons, music add on, programs add ons, your pictures, my add ons, install, which will take you to install from zip file, and search. 
In your settings, that's where you'll find your file manager. All right. So um, let me show you how to get this build. You'll want to go to file manager and then go to add source. And the source you'll put in there will be the Aries wizard. All right, this is the link I've put for the Aries wizard. All right, after that, I've, I've left it at magic. You can name it whatever you want. Okay, so after you've done that, you'll back out. And then you'll want to go to install from zip file. All right, I've named it Magic, so I'll scroll down to Magic. You'll scroll down to whatever you named it. Um, named it. I click on it, click on it again, and then install it. All right, mine says updated because I already have it installed. So once you've done that, you'll scroll up and then go to install from repository. And then scroll down to Aries Project. And then Program Add-ons. And then Aries Wizard. Alright, and then you'll install it. I already have it installed, so just wait for the notification to come up saying it, it's been installed. And once you've done that, you would want to go to your Programs section. That's where the Aries Wizard will be. You click on it. And give it a moment for it to come up. Alright. So once it's come up. You will want to go to. Browse builds. And then scroll down till you see Steven. All right, you'll click on it. Now I I'm gonna do a fresh install for you guys. Um, I recommend doing a fresh install, installing any build. But the particular build will be right here, Cinema X. All right, so I'm gonna do a fresh install. I'm gonna click on fresh install and then click yes, and then proceed. And this is recommended if you're coming from any other build or any build. I highly recommend doing a fresh install. So that way, you know, you won't mess your Cody up and then you have to start all over. It says Cody needs to be closed. Press OK to attempt to close Cody. Click OK. And it's closed. Now you'll go back into Cody. As you can see, I'm on a fresh Cody again. Now scroll down to add-on and then go into the Aries wizard. And once again, you give it a, a moment to come up. All right, so once you're back on this screen, you go to browse build. And once again, you'll scroll down to Steven. All right, you'll click on Steven. And this particular build is the Cinema X build. All right, you have the Cinema build here also. This build it has let a fewer add-ons. And um, this font is, is the regular font. Okay, the Cinema X build, the font is bigger, it's a different font, and it has more add-ons, and the setup is a little bit different than the Cinema build. 
Alright. So you want to click on Krypton Cinema X build. And then click install. And then proceed. And once again, guys, I apologize if I haven't got to your comments. But, um, you know, I've been busy lately. You know, I've been up and down. And I thank all of you guys for being patient with me. But um, I'm back with my builds. And I think I've pretty much updated most of them. And um, I'm still waiting for more skins to come out. So I can make a build out of it. But um yeah. I appreciate you guys for um. Subscribing. And um. You know keeping these builds alive. As I can see. The last time I checked it. In the Aries wizard. The, uh, my builds were. All the way at the bottom. I'm surprised it. It rose so high. You know, I appreciate you guys for testing my builds out and, you know, even if you don't like my builds, you know, and you tried it, I still appreciate you guys trying it. And um, for those that's already running the the Cinema X build, the version number is the same. I don't know. The Aries Wizard is giving me problems changing the version number, but um, you know, just look out for my videos saying it's been updated. I always make a video if I update one of the builds. I just you know I make a video of it. So um. Just to be alarmed, just click on the on the the bell notification so you could be notified when um a new uh, updated build is coming out. All right, we almost there. Couple of more seconds. All right, so it's gonna start extracting the files now. Alright, we almost there guys. You just have to be patient.
okay so it's done extracting the files now when you get to this part right here just want to click no then no again then click OK to close Cody now if it doesn't close I suggest to unplug your device and plug it back in or go to your apps and foreclose it that way alright so my Cody's closed I'm going to go back into Cody And here you have the build. Now um I suggest waiting a few a few you know just wait a moment for it to do its thing in the background. So that way you won't get you know lag and stuff like that. All right, so here you have it, the Cinema X build. I hope you guys like it. And um, once again, uh, uh, thank you guys for watching and subscribing and, you know, leaving comments. Whatever questions you have, I'll try my best to answer them. And um, keep looking out for build updates and um, new builds. I'm working on a new build also. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button. And I'll talk to you guys soon.